Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study the defects in the extrusion process. The first defect is surface cracking. Here, this one is the product which is extruded. Now, on this product, we can see that lot many number of cracks has been developed on the surface. Whatever these cracks has been developed on the surface, these are nothing but the surface cracking. Why this surface cracking is occurred or it is developed? The surface cracking it is developed because of high temperature in case of hot extrusion. In the hot extrusion process, if there will be, no doubt it has to be carried out at high temperature, but if that temperature will be excessively high at that time, the formation of this surface crack it is taken place. This surface cracking it can be occurred because of high friction and high speed of slug travel. So whenever there will be friction with excessive friction in between the slug and the internal walls of the container at that time also when the slug travels through the container in the direct extrusion process the formation of surface cracking it is taking place along with that if there will be high speed at that time we know that the speed if it is high then friction will be again high and if friction will be high then there will be formation of surface cracking generally surface cracking it is occurred in the aluminium magnesium and zinc alloys now let us see how to avoid this surface cracking defect surface cracking it can be avoided by lowering the extrusion temperature it can also be avoided by decreasing the extru extrusion speed the second defect is piping defect it is also called tail pipe defect or fish tailing defect now here this one is the extruded object at the end of this extruded object the hole like structure is formed and whatever the hole like structure is formed that structure is nothing but the piping defect piping defect it is associated with the direct extrusion process generally piping defect it is occurred in the direct extrusion process what is piping defect it is the formation of sinkhole in the end of the pellet so here we can see that this one is nothing but the sinkhole the formation of such sinkhole at the end of a billet is nothing but the piping defect now how this can be avoided piping defect can be avoided by using a dummy block with a diameter less than that of billet third and last defect in the extrusion process is internal cracking or it is also called chevron cracking or it is also called arrowhead fracture or it is also called center burst center burst or center cracking now as the name indicates internal cracking this one is the internal defect whatever the cracking is formed or developed in the extruded object it is inside inside of that object that's why it is having the name internal cracking here this one is the extruded object and here at the inside of this extruded object the cracks have been developed these are the two cracks which have been developed whatever these cracks have been developed these are nothing but the internal cracking this defect is caused by developing tensile stresses along the center line of the workpiece during extrusion in the extrusion process the formation in the metal the deformation in the metal increases from center to outer surfaces 
the large deformation in the outer regions stretches the material along the center of the workpiece so why this internal cracking has been developed so here this explanation has been given what this explanation is in the extrusion process the metal deformation process it is carrying out now here we can see that this one is the object now when it is allowed to travel through the die of the extrusion in the during that the metal deformation process it is taken place now how the rate of metal deformation is from the center to the outer surface at the center of this billet the metal deformation rate is less and as we go on towards as we go towards the surface this rate it is increased so that means at the outer surface the metal deformation rate will be higher or it will be highest so here what happens because of having this variation in the metal deformation rate the large deformation in the outer regions stretches the material along the center of the workpiece so because of having large deformation at the outer regions that outer region stretches the material which is in the inner region and because of the stretching of this material of the internal region the formation of cavities has been done and these cavities are nothing but the cracks formation of the cracks inside the object and that is nothing but the internal cracking now as this defect is internal it is very difficult to detect this internal cracking it is occurred inside the object so that means to our naked eyes it is almost impossible to detect this object to detect this of defect to detect this defect the ndt methods non destructive testing methods various ndt methods that are used to determine the internal crackings so friends in this way in this video we have seen the defects occurred in extrusion process thank you